That's live, that is. So now put your hand on that and it's... Uh, Zap. Never mind no more squirrel, it's no more human. So this is the mesh that we want, that Ricky's cut to shape. So that's ready to go on. That's going to be fastened in with some washers and some screws. And that's going to go up there and that's going to stop the squirrels getting in hopefully forever and ever but squirrels being squirrels if there's another weakness then basically they will find the weakness and uh, going through that hole the, the, instead we'll come back next week and uh, we'll check the traps if there's anything in the traps then we'll reset them take the dead bodies away and reset the traps and because uh, what you don't want to be doing you're as likely at this time of the day to be locking the squirrels out as you are locking them in uh, so there's the hole there's a bit of a nest in there you can see through the hole to be honest and that one it's all done well one done yeah one down one to go it's all done Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Ain't no squirrels getting in there now. When you've got squirrels in your loft, the first thing you want to be aware of is the damage that they'll do and the damage they could do to you. Right here, so Rick is actually stood in the loft, in the loft hatch. Right. So that's cables that they've been chewing at. They haven't gone through on that bit yet, but they will do. And they'll be, oh, there's some there, look. Look that oh, Christ, look at this. That's live, that is. So now put your hand on that and it's... Uh, Zap. Never mind, no more squirrel, it's no more human. So, yeah, look. <laughs> the, these bits, look at what they've done to this pipe work here, look. Well, you know something that's mad here? So it's, it's chewed all over the place. Look, we're not even really looking for this. Look at the pipes, they've chewed the ends off them pipes there. No way. That's a dray over there, look, which is a squirrel's nest, that big pile over there. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. that come through all right with it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as you can see, the, the damage is unbelievable. Rather annoyingly for the person who owns this place, um, they've had this rewired literally a year ago. And instead of following our advice and getting all the... Uh, the entry point sealed they got their own people out and thought they knew what they were doing didn't listen to our advice and now they're gonna to have to have the whole place rewired again i think because this is really dangerous really dangerous but let's have a look last week we set some traps as you know and then we got the go-ahead to block up the holes outside so annoyingly we're gonna to have to reset these traps i'll show you how we do that in a minute but as we can see here the old tube trap there's the squirrel's tail that's where look at all that chewing there ricky i'm gonna have that? to get up in the... okay oh. be careful where you put in your hands oh look at this pipe that i've gone through here it's a good job there's no water going through it <laughs> Madness, madness. And there's the squirrel in the WCS tube trap. And I, in all honesty, I think they're absolutely fantastic traps. We've got a couple of fen traps in boxes here. I've managed to set that WCS trap off, that tube trap. Just look where I'm putting my hands. There's another wire there, look. Nightmare. Absolutely nice. Look at that. And all cute and fluffy until they start doing this to your house. Yeah, yeah. Well, people people say, oh, how can you kill them? How can you do that? Well, if they get inside your house, they'll do this. <laughs> That's what they'll do. That's what they'll do. Look at that. So, the hole that we blocked is just down there. You might be able to see a bit of light coming through there if I turn that off. Yeah, I see a bit of light coming through down there. Weirdly, it feels like many, many years ago, but it must be, oh, <laughs> must be a year or two ago, me and Mark were sat right here getting filmed by Channel 5. And in fact, if you want to see us on Channel 5 and you're watching on mobile on here, there'll be a video link right here, right now. Bing! 
See? Look at the technology, mate. I'm getting used to it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that one out of the box, out, out of the trap, I should say. Let's show how that's done. Oh. It's a Sainsbury's bag, but uh, you can use any bag. Testos will do. No product placement. No product placements here, YouTube, no. So, squirrel, so the kill bar has gone right across it. Oop. And there it goes. One squirrel. And they are kind of cute, aren't they? I mean, but look at his teeth. Lean, mean, chewing machine. Yeah. Right, and he's going to go back with us. I'll show you how we're going to set these traps as well. And I'll show you a little technique that I do that uh, makes things a lot more successful, I feel. So that's all clear in there. We bait it up first. So what I'm going to do, because peanut butter is nice and sticky, okay, the top of the trap, so if you look in there, that part there is the treadle. See that bit there? That's the plate that they need to stand on. But where I'm going to put this, I'm going through this end, so I'm going to put it on the top, on the roof, on there. Because sometimes squirrels won't go on the plate because they're so clever. But that, in the darkness, will tempt them to lift up and then put their hand accidentally on the treadle and bang. These are really efficient traps, really, really efficient. That squirrel knew nothing about it, you know, it was just bang. Now, because squirrels, basically, everyone's out there feeding the birds, thinking they're doing a lot for, for the little beasties and stuff. Well, that's why there's so many squirrels about in the UK nowadays, because they've got so much food. And it's kind of what we nearly always use on our traps for, for rats, outside rats and for squirrels, is the same stuff that people put on their bird feeders. So we use this, these kind of wax blocks. So you can see in there, Rick, that's on the, on the plate. And you've got the peanut butter above it. In fact, these are that sensitive. I just dropped off that bit. Right, so now, setting. So basically, this is the kill bar. This is the safety catch. And that's the trigger, part of the trigger. So what we need to do is we need to pull this right down. Take it right back to there. Put the safety over. Like that. And then this, this one peg here, you have to push the safety bar down a bit, and then with your other finger, lift this, this bit up. Uh, there we go. And then once it's on there, just let it slide down a little bit. Oh, the safety's off, the safety's off. Ooh. Right. Ooh. <laughs> these like these traps, are, they're terrifying, to be honest with you. But I'm going to put this back in the same place. The reason we put it there, you can see where the squirrels have been going on the same route, which is the same as a rat or lots of little pests and beasties will do. They'll always follow the same the same route. I'm going to put that in there, keeping your fingers well away from everything, even though the safety's on. I'll drop that in there. And then only then I'll press it into place and then I'll take the safety off. So safety is now off because I'm safe and far away from it. And then what I like to do, just throw a few Little free offerings down the ends of the tube. A little bit like when you go fishing in your pre bait stuff. We've got also, as well, we've got a fen trap inside a tunnel. You must, you must put fen traps inside a tunnel. Okay, so this one. Oh, <laughs> no way. Just so I don't do anything else. Isn't it? field mouse. Yeah. So just to add on to everything else that's going on here, there's field mice in here as well. And this is a very good reason Where's for, it? see there's been people here in the past, you might notice there's trays all over the place because the original pest controllers that was coming out here thought that it was rats, <laughs> believe it or not. Professionals, yeah my arse. So if you'd have been putting poison down, that would have been illegal because you can't use rat poison on squirrels and oh, you can't man. use poison on field mice either. So the landlord is going to be loving that. <laughs> oh, God. It's a little one, isn't it? Yeah. 
And I think what's happened, there must be other ones in here, look, because they've been eaten the meat off the, his tail, look. Mm. So the other, the other mice in here have come and have eaten that off there, and they would have eaten the rest of him pretty soon. Ah. So the job gets even more complicated. <laughs> but this job, this one, is all about squirrels. So with these, fen trap, thumb, thumb ring, push it back, safety on. Okay, and then once the safety's on, this little brass catch, you have to push it down onto that little catch there. I mean, it took us forever to set these last week. Make sure that safety's on. You breathe next to them and they go off. Uh, <laughs> and that's why that field mouse has set it off because they're so, so sensitive. So now I'm going to flick that back over, put that back down. Ooh. I'm going to put that back where it was. Might be worth checking the other one, you never know. No, the other one's still set. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I'm going to put that there. Okay. <laughs> that one's still set in there. And I'll just reset this one. Because that's gone off as well. See if there's any... <laughs> no. No. So, yeah, again, what we'll do is peanut butter it's nice and sticky up on the top i'm not going to decide which way around the trap is up on the top there just stick that on make sure it's stuck well though because if it drops down it will set the trap off so and then we'll get some more fresh bird feed another little trick to do with this if you're out and about keep that so inside your truck because it gets nice and warm and it's a lot malleable and sticky uh, than it would be so we get again safety trigger and that's the other side of the trigger and then basically uh kill bar so kill bar right back to there safety goes on the kill bar and then we've got the little the fiddly fiddly bit Lifting that up into there. Okay, and then I'll put that back where it was as well. And again into the, the divot in the insulation. Like that. There's more free offerings around the entrance. And that's it. Okay, so we'll be back next week. Um, and we'll see what else fun games we can have in there. In theory, unless there's some squirrels actually sealed in here now, because you've seen us sealing those holes outside, there shouldn't be any more. Then we can deal with the, <laughs> with the field mice problem. But let me show you, Rick. This is like one of the maddest things I've ever seen. This here, that when we originally came, Right, like I say, when we came here, in fact, I can show you the evidence because if you look right here right now, you'll see us on channel five in the loft with the squirrels. And we were sat right here and this had all insulation in it. And I couldn't work it out last week when I was looking at it, but look, <laughs> the insulation's gone missing all over the place, look. And you know why? Because look at this. You all right there? Yep. So what the squirrels have done, look, is these are massive squirrel drays. <laughs> they pulled all the insulation up, and that's that's a dray. There's a dray in the corner there, look, over there and here. You can see the hole going in. I don't really want to put the camera inside it, so you reach it. And there you go. There's the dray inside. Do you want to move that one bit of stuff out of the way? One jumps out of here now. I shall cack myself. Perfectly round, isn't it? And it goes all the way down there, look. Absolute nightmare. But like I say, if they'd listened to our advice years ago and got the holes sorted out properly, they wouldn't be having these problems right now and we wouldn't have to keep on killing squirrels. Because they are cute and we don't want to kill anything if we don't have to. Um, but for health and safety reasons, and more, more so actually for animal welfare reasons, we don't want to be trapping the squirrels in here. 
So the only way to find out if we have or not is to catch, catch them in traps. So it's the only way to deal with it, is dead squirrels, I'm afraid. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we get next week then, Rick. Hopefully nothing, and we can get on to the next job. All looks good. Let's just have a quick check. So that's still down. And we'll show you actually how we unset these. So, I mean, look at this damage on this pipe. If you've got squirrels in your roof, in your loft, and you've got this kind of water pipes, <laughs> this is what the squirrels have done, look. Okay, so to just show you how fast these will kill a squirrel, if you imagine that's the squirrel going in there, there's the treadle plate. Bang, it doesn't know anything. It doesn't know anything about it. So that's one unset. And I'll show you the same on the fen traps as well. I've already checked these and we know there's nothing inside them. We'll show you again just how powerful these traps are. So if I'm Mr. Mr. Squirrel, I come in there and I put my foot on here. Doesn't know anything about it. It's literally bang and dead. Now, if you've enjoyed this and you want to watch some more of our stuff, there's a lovely video right here you could watch. And there's another video here. And if I got this right, there must be a subscribe button around here somewhere, I think. So up here, there, and down here. We'll see. If not, forgive me, but press one of those links.